Here we got the Sonata 2.0 hybrid. We're going to do the transmission fluid service. So the fill is that big nut right there. So we're going to remove that all the way in the back there. And then we'll get underneath. So I got the out. Make sure you don't lose the little ring there. Set that there. And then we're going to get underneath. And then we're going to remove this cover here. So we got 10 millimeter bolts all around here. And the 10 millimeter here. And some of these are probably rusty and they'll probably break off. That's uh, pretty common. Well, none of them were rusty. They all came out relatively easily. None of them broke. Slide that cover goes, you know, up on top of there. And now, set this aside. We get right to the transmission here. We're going to remove this plug here. And that's going to be where we drain it. Now, it might... Ow! I'm going to shit my head again. Say uh, it's easier to get from underneath it. But I don't know. It's kind of going to be a pain to get uh, that off uh, either way. So we're just going to drain this, and I'm going to put a thing under it to measure how much is in there. We get our 24 millimeter again. Break that loose. I'm going to fill this with it. Uh, it should be uh, probably about four quarts. And whatever I take out, I'm going to put in, which should be four quarts. Got it draining. This one actually it does have the uh, washer, fresh washer thing on it, which fell inside here. So I'll get that later. But so this is, you can see all that gunk on there. This is like magnetic, so collecting all that. So I'm going to clean all that up before I put it back in, too. It's about done draining, so I clean that up. Put back in. So we're almost uh, five quarts in here, four and a half. So that's what I'm going to put back in since that's what I took out. So I got it all drained. I got about four and a half quarts out. So that's what I'm going to put back in. Tighten this, put the cover back on. We're actually going to leave the cover off so I can clean off any drips when I go to fill it. Take my long funnel. Put it the hole down there. If I can find the hole. Put some hair around it. And that's how I'm gonna fill it. So I'm just uh, filling it while watching it, make sure it's not like overflowing all over. You gotta probably pour it slowly what I'm using and then we'll put the plug back on and that'll be all there is to it. I got it back on. I just need to tighten it and I'll start it up, make sure all the gears are going through and it'll be good.